Is it focused at... oh yeah. Oh, no, I've changed. I think it's focusing in there. All good? So if we start by turning on the screen and triggering the ferret. Let's trigger. Okay, um, I'm gonna go and check my email. Some really cool emails here. Um, okay, so the notification thing is pretty cool because blah 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 blah. Um, the ferret's gonna come soon. And as soon as the ferret comes... Ooh, look, I have a new notification. So, with my little ferret here um, in, the test, in the bar here, let's just drop this. I have a ferret saying, hey, how's it going, mate? Okay, let's click on that guy. Ching! That takes us to the, um, the screen where you can actually update your mood. So just like we did at the beginning of the presentation, you can actually set a number of stars. So I'm feeling pretty happy at the moment, so I'm going to give it a good five. And just like we did the pres at the beginning of the Prezo as well, we can add a few tags. So let's click Add Tags. Android Competition Open Source. So you say a few words and it really uh, does voice recognition to recognize these words. So it got like uh, Android Competition, but it also got Open and Source separately. That's a pity because we really meant Open Source. So what we're just going to do is we're going to click Open and drag it onto Source. That cre creates one big keyword. Uh, so now that we have the three keywords we're happy with, uh, the rating we're happy with, let's just click OK. And that brings us to the home screen of uh, Thought Ferret, where we can actually analyze all this data that we can gather over time. So we have about one year of um, demo data, I guess. And we can see a few things with uh, the data. We can have a look at the tags, we have a history, we have some sort of a map of the offices. Let's start with the tags. Um, so this is like a tag cloud of all the tags you've used. So some of the ones, for example, on the left here are the ones that don't make you happy and the ones on the right, such as the Android here, are the ones that really make you happy in the green area. And of course, the more you say them and the bigger they're going to be. So um, if we go back to the menu, uh, we also talked about the qu history quickly. So let's click on this history button. Um, this one here is actually a graph of your history over time, so it's quite nice to analyze when you became happy and when you became unhappy. And, well, this is a, a menu that sometimes crashes. So what we can do is, uh, for example, let's change the chart type and let's zoom out a bit. Ah. Okay. Um, so we can see that, for example, here we almost have a full year, so it's kind of a nice way of analyzing the data. Um, we could say September was a really good month. So that's quite nice. And what about the last one uh, that was over here? That was the offices. So this one is really a map of Australia with the different offices. And you can see every time the ferret asks you for your mood, it actually records the location. So then it's able to tell you in Brisbane and in Sydney. I was happy, but with a few clouds. Um, but actually it's trending up, so it's pretty good. And in Melbourne, like, was just super happy. That was good. Um, and actually, if we go a bit to the left, I've just, I've just never been to Perth. So um, that's quite good if you want to have like an overview of which offices make you happy as well. So let's go back to the main menu. So this thing here that we have really helps you analyze your own data. But one thing we really want to improve here is we'd like to extend it so that once everyone uses uh, Thought Ferret, either on an Android phone, an iPhone, all the data is going to be synchronized to a cloud. And then the good thing is you can point it either to your local phone and your local data, or you could point it to everyone's data. And let's just go through the screens again and realize what this means. It means that if you go to the tags over here, this could actually be the tags for the whole of ThoughtWorks in the whole world. And you can actually see which keywords make ThoughtWorkers happy in general. So that really gives you some insight around uh, what technologies we like, for example. Uh, if we go to the history, you could have something like this that shows you the happiness of the whole of ThoughtWorks again. So that's, um, that's really good too. But uh, the one I like the best really is um, the offices, because if we go back to the offices and we had this, which will show you if the Brisbane office is happy, the Sydney office is happy. That's quite, that's quite nice to have, but the good thing is you can also actually zoom out, and as you zoom out, these ones are going to aggregate to form the Australian ThoughtWorks. And so we have ThoughtWorks Australia, which is pretty happy, but let's just navigate a bit. We also have China, India, Germany, the UK. Ooh, USA is not too happy. Why is that? Let's just zoom in a bit and 
Okay, we can have a quick look at the Chicago office and uh, San Francisco. So, I think this would be a really useful tool to uh, have a look around the world and have a look at the existing offices. So let's stay back here because this falling stars and falling stars are cool, so let's just do blah 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 and have a few falling stars in the background because we like them.